Hello everyone, my name is Aaron Lankry. I'm the rabbi in Kilas Orachaim, Muncie, New York. And I'm really excited to share with everyone some words on the parsha or on the holidays that will enlighten us and give us new meaning and, and clarity of our daily activities and of the Torah's lessons. Parsha Tvayelech has in it a verse, a pasuk, that shares with us a very fascinating, but throughout history it's been a very challenging verse. And that is, Va'anochi haster astir panai bayomahu. And I will hide my face on that day. Why? Al kol hara asha asa ki panai Elohim acherim. Upon all the evil that was done, because they looked after other gods. And today I want to focus on the term Elohim acherim, other gods. Because it's very fascinating that we use the term Elohim in many different ways. It's referring to God himself. And Elohim Acherim is referring to idols. What is the connection between a term that's used for actually Hashem to a term that's used for other gods? At the same time, a judge is called Elohim. Elokim yamod b'mishpat. There's for times that a judge is referred to as a, as as a, as Elokim. So what's that? A god? It's not a god. Elokim nitzav badat el. God stands in the presence of the judges. It's a very unique term. At the same time, if we look into Shulchan Aruch, Siman Hey, it tells us that the definition of Elokim is bal. He's the master of all, of all powers and all energies. So when we use the term Elohim, we're talking about the master of powers. Elohim Acherim, are they really masters of powers? They're not powers. They're irrelevant, they're insignificant. So how does the term really coincide into both applications? And that's the name of God. So we use that term constantly. The Arizal shares with us an insight into the, the name Elohim that it's really an acronym of two, a combination of two names. And he brings this into the discussion of Kabbalat Torah, the 50 days working towards Shavuot. And he says, Elohim is a combination of two words, Ele and Mi. Sai Necha Marom. You look, you gaze upon the heavens and you say to yourself, me, bara, ele, who created all of this? Me and ele are combined as into the word Elohim. Me, bara, ele is the same words as bereshit, bara, Elohim. Bara, Elohim is me, bara, ele, it's the same words. And the letters me has a numerical value of 50. And therefore, the 50 days that we strive from Pesach until Shavuot to receive the Torah is an expression of the me. The me which translates as who. And we get to know the who as we count each day striving to the receiving of the Torah. So what does that have to do with Elohim Acherim, other gods? So let's analyze. Hester Panim is, I don't get to know God. Vanochi hastir panai. What is the pnei elokim? What is the inside of God? It's me and Ela. Me is the eternal question. Who? Who's this? What's who? 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 We have questions, and that's who. But at the same time, we use the question of who as an answer. For example, me shebera chavotenu Avram Yitzchak v'Yaakov. Me also reflects itself as the person that we really know. We're asking, who is the person, Misha, the one that gave the blessings to our father, should give the blessings to us. Misha para chov, the person that, the person that paid back the debt. Well, we know who that is, but we're not using the name. So at the same time that we're asking a question, we're also identifying the person who is really in charge. So me is a question and me is really the answer. It's a code. That's the concept of Hester Panim. Hester Panim means to say that I don't see the total picture. But Pnei Elohim, the insides of Elohim, means to say 
that I want to get to know the essence of God. I want to know the who. The who of God is Eila. Eila is the these. We need to look into creation to understand the me. Every artist is defined by his artwork. Eile, mi bara Eile. Eile is all that we see, all that we live. All of our combined experiences throughout the generation is Eile, it's been facilitated by God. So what is Elohim Acherim, other gods? And it goes like this. If Elohim is defined by mi Eile, who are these? So now all we need to do is change the tone to the sentence. We can say, Who is the one that created all of this? And we know who it is. It's obviously God, but we're, we're in a wonderment. We're taking the same words and we're saying it with a question mark. We're saying, Mi bara ele? Elohim acherim? Mi ele? This stone created the world? It's a product of the world. It's the same words saying, Mi ele? Who these? Who these? What? What's very unique about the creation of the world is that in Shulchan Aruch HaOchshem Mishpat, Siman Aleph, the tour writes a very fascinating thing that there's an opportunity for a person to become a proper judge. And by being a proper judge, he becomes a partner with God in all of creation. You see, God brought the world forward. But if there's no peace and harmony in the world, then the world is useless. Who are the people that bring peace and harmony into the world? That's a proper judge. When people have a dispute and they go to a third party, a righteous judge, and he assesses the situation and he brings the two parties to truth and he brings them to a relationship of, of liking each other because, ah, now we got clarity. Oh, I was wrong. I am sorry. I apologize. I would love, I would love to pay you. I would love to give you what's not mine based upon truth, not through corruption, not through swindling, not through, not through powers. That is also called a judge, that's also called an Elohim, because he becomes a partner in the creation of the world. Look up to the heavens and say to yourself, who was the one that created this entire world? God is amongst the judges. We in our lives have so many opportunities to judge. Look into our capabilities of judging, whether it's the bus driver, or whether it's the taxi, you know, it will matter who you bump into. And if you judge them properly and beneficially, and you give them the benefit of the doubt, maybe you had a hard day, you all become a partner with God in the creation of the world. Shabbat Shalom. Thank you for watching. Please click right over here to subscribe to our other videos that will be coming shortly. Thank you.